it going guys? Ben Mays here in the back of the William Singh Center ASG32 MI. We're flying in the south wind wave over Snow Mountain, flying with John Newell today. And we were talking to Kempton earlier, and he said the south wind wave was gonna work, so we decided to come try it out. And uh, since we got in it, I'm gonna show you a little bit of some tips and tricks on how to manipulate your ClearNav 2 flight computer and ClearNav variometer when flying in the wave. Hope you enjoy. And if you do, remember to like and subscribe to the William Soaring Center YouTube channel. Hope everyone's having a good winter and good luck in the wave season. Here we are in the back of the ASG32, flying the south wind wave over Snow Mountain. We're climbing through 11,500. And I'm gonna show you how to force the ClearNav Vario into climb mode and how to get the ClearNav flight computer set up for the wave. So originally, I was set to a McCready of two. And we can see on the ClearNav, when I zoom in, you got kind of little dots trying to follow the wave path. And I already have it forced into climb mode. I'm gonna kick it out of climb mode here. So my clear nav set on my cruise mode, but I want my vario up so I don't have my preemptive climb showing the whole time. First thing I'm gonna do when I get in the wave, you can see we already kind of drew, drew our cross sections here and figured out where the bulk of it was. But I want my green dots a little bit bigger so it's easier to kind of trace out where I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna take that down to a zero so I have a big, easy green path to follow, trying to keep in uh, where we've already been in the wave. So I took my ClearNav 2 down to McCready of zero. Now, this is kind of neat. It's showing me my climb as I'm turning, but it's in auto mode still, and I want to force it into climb so it's not kicking me back and forth here. So I'm going to push in in the left encoder, and if I was over on my McCready, I'm going to shift all the way over to cruise climb override and force it into climb mode. What that's gonna allow me to do, if it was already in thermal assist, I can also cycle through to get to my main flying screen. That way I got wind speed direction, my travel back, my altitude above. But now what I'm gonna get is my top average is gonna go up to 40 seconds and it's gonna stay at a 40 second average. My bottom average is gonna show me my whole climb. So at the beginning of the video, you saw I was averaging 1.7 over the last 12 minutes. So this way I get an entire climb in the wave average coming out of the bottom and I'm gonna have a 40 second average on top to kind of see what was happening. And I can easily force it in and out of that cruise override if I go to another lift source. So that's a little how-to working ClearNav Vario with the 57 round and ClearNav 2 flight computer to help you stay in the wave. I was gonna end the video with uh, how to just that, but I decided I'm gonna add one more little section here. So one useful thing too is when you're flying, you can get the outside air temperature. That's useful, or at least kind of fun to look at when you're trying to figure out how bad my fingers are freezing. So for that, I'm gonna come over to my main flying screen by flicking the left encoder all the way to the right. Then I'm gonna take the right encoder go down to my glider settings, back to the left encoder, and cycle to the right, two clicks. You can see it's 24 degrees, and I did not dress appropriately. I got my short socks on, and my feet are freezing. So, and the other thing I can get is we can come down to info, and I can also switch over and get my indicated versus true airspeed up here to kind of see. That's sometimes a useful thing, especially when you're teaching or for my case, when I'm coaching and kind of trying to show the importance of the two. So there's a lot of kind of useful information in that Vario. You can see now we've been climbing for nine minutes at uh, 1.8 knots. And my last 40 seconds, we're down to 1.2. So we're kind of getting to the edge of our track here and just about up on our 14,000 mark and getting ready to cruise home.
Hope this was helpful. And if there's any other videos you want, just uh, link in the subscription or contact us on the ClearNav website and we'll uh, try and produce whatever you'd like.